This is the free motion quilting tutorial for feather leaves. This design is stitched by first coming up with a long wiggly line, come to a point, then echo back leaving a lot of space within this shape. Then you're going to start filling in with your feathers. You can see that this is very tiny, it's on a very small scale, but if you increase the size and scale of it, you would just simply be working off of one side of the line that you created, so basically your initial starting line, curving up and around to create your feather, and then returning to that starting line. This is the way that I find uh, stitching feathers works really well, uh, just simply travel stitching along the side of the feather before it and that works really really well for me. Everyone stitches feathers differently though so you really want to give yourself the freedom to fill this area in the way that feels most natural for you. Once you fill all the way uh, with feathers, travel stitch back to the beginning then just simply pivot and echo this entire shape. You're just going to echo around this, building up the texture so that it stands out beautifully on the surface of your quilt. Then branch out in another direction with another wiggly line, come to a point, and then return to your starting line and fill that area with feathers as well. You want these to swirl in all different directions so that way it has a really interesting effect on the surface of your quilt. You won't want them all to kind of stay in the same straight line. That might look a little funny and it might be difficult to kind of stitch these uh, if they all went in the same direction. It's a lot easier actually whenever they flow in all different directions and kind of come from all different angles. You are going to have some weird tight areas. Um, of course, filling in the feathers can be a little tight in these uh, small areas around the tip of the wiggly line. But the area, like right next to my needle, I would just fill this area in with echo quilting. So I would just simply continue to stitch some curvy lines in this space so that way it's filled completely and consistently with the rest of the design. It's not going to stand out as much as if you tried to squish like a really small uh, feather leaf in there. So here you can see, I fast forwarded on, you can see what this design looks like as you take shape. In that situation, I filled that little area with maybe like a segment of a feather leaf and that worked well. But in this situation, I'm just going back and forth stitching some gently curving lines and that looks good as well. You just have to be kind of inventive and creative when it comes to filling in the weird areas and trying to do that in a way that doesn't look clunky for the rest of the design. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish feather leaves. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love the over 350 videos on the Free Motion Quilting Project. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.